Hey, in today's video, we'll make these super simple and useful toaster tongs to get your toast out of the toaster. So this is gonna be a very quick project. As you've seen, I'm gonna try and make three different toaster tongs. Um, one very rustic, one where I'm gonna just glue some of the woods and some offcuts that I had left over from another project, and one that I'm just gonna make straight out of one piece of this birch. So first things first, I'm gonna cut this to the um, right dimensions I need, as this will be the easiest one to do. Um, and then I'll focus on this one as this takes the most time as it needs some gluing. This will be, <clears throat> this should be a very, very short video. So let's just get cracking. So this one will be super simple. I'll just cut it to length, drill a hole and then cut out the middle. So that, that'll be super easy tongs. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bit of this birch and I'm going to cut it off, but I'm also going to slightly chamfer it, so I'm going to angle it outwards. Um, I must probably just do that manually or with a, with a, with the sander. And then shape these and then glue that all together. Here again with the sanding, it's a bit of manual work, like sanding in the middle is going to be up to me. I'll have to do that. On um, the outside I can, I can use the sand I guess. And then these ones will be very rustic, so this is a piece of firewood actually that I've sort of cut in half and it looks amazing on the inside. Um, there's a few knots in that that I want to avoid, but what I'm going to do is sort of just find a nice bit in the middle and, and do the same approaches with this and see if that works. So let me get going with that. I'm going to sand this first before I cut it to make sure the angle is right. Um, and there we go. And then on this one, this one's super simple. I need to just figure out a nice length, I think. Yeah, if I make 20, I can get two out of this. What I'll do is I'll make 123. And then that gives me another roughly 20 centimeters, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, this is super tricky to get this to be perfectly straight. Catch these. Let me just zero it out so that we can get an idea of. Yeah, okay, so that's definitely too wrong. Also the approach I don't like. At least you need the slightest of champers. I mean, that's too wide. I need them like that. So I'm gonna try and do this on the mitre saw. Okay, I'm gonna quickly show you. So this one I'm gonna do last because, you know, it's all over the place and it's gonna be freehand. These are the two. Now what I've done is I've actually put a, um, oh, this in German, it's um, a little groove, like a little cut into the wood. I then followed it with a pencil so you could see. Here I mismeasured the first time, luckily with the pencil, but this one is accurate. I'm gonna start with the small one first just to make sure that my approach using the fence will actually work. Um, and yeah, let's hope I don't get a lot of, ooh, 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 that wasn't locked, okay. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that this is aligned to this thing first, um, using my magnet trick, and then I'll start cutting, I'll see you then. Okay, my instant gut feeling is, I mean, it looks all right. I didn't leave enough wood at the top. Um, I'm gonna round it off and, and it'll look okay. Here, I left a little bit more, but I also feel it needs to be thicker. So I'm going, to, I'm, I am going to move this slightly across. And to be fair, they were thinner anyway on this one. So I'm gonna literally, oh no, not that. It's on the wrong thing. I am literally going to, great. I'm literally gonna just knock that 
a millimeter thicker, so I think, yeah. Um, but other than that, it's looking good. I'm gonna also round over these, but I'm gonna do that in the sand, I think it's easier. I mean, these are looking much, much better. Obviously, there's a lot of sanding work that has to go in here. Um, I would. But um, it's looking good. They're, they're not too bad. I mean, for what they are, I obviously shape them, sand them, etc. We'll get to that in a minute. I mean, these are super rustic, um, but you know what, they work and, and they actually have a nice grip. That, that was purely coincidental, but you know, um, to be fair, these could be chopsticks for kids. But uh, I'm just gonna tidy up a little bit here because there's some edges that I can just quickly cut here. Um, and then we'll sand all of them and we'll be good to go. We'll be good to go. What a pity. Snapped right here. Super dry. I'm gonna I'm gonna glue this. To be fair now I can sand the inside easier, but that's a bummer. I'm pretty sure my wife would have loved these as well. I wonder if that glue will hold purely because of the pressure you'll be using it, but I'm gonna try. I have to glue the other one anyway, so I'll get on with that now. Okay, let's glue these together. Um Some glue on both sides. I'm not sure how to clamp these. I'm probably going to just use those crocodile clamps or something. It's tricky this because it's at an angle. I'm not too sure. I guess you should have a counter angle, right? Yeah, okay, so I've got a good squeeze out. I'm just gonna, so I think that'll work. Um, I'm gonna make it super flat. Okay, let's tie that up. And I'm literally just, I'm gonna leave that here. Now, for the one that broke, my wife actually says she doesn't like it. I'm very annoyed. I just made the back too thin, I think. But, you know, I'm just still gonna try and recover it. I like rustic things. And even if it's just for show, or even if I can use, you know what, you got, if no one likes this, I'll use it to get screws when they drop down somewhere. You know, tongs like this length are always useful. So I need to wait now anyway for the glue to dry before we do the final sanding in that. Um, I'm just probably gonna start with these. I'm a little bit disappointed that I made this so short, so small in the back. I mean, I could um, round it over more like on here, I'm not too sure, but you know what? They're just super simple things. You can do whatever you want at the back. I actually wanted to put a little magnet in here so that I can just plonk it onto my toaster so it's always there, which is something I might do. Also, you can obviously shape these however you want, which, which is what I'm gonna be doing now. I'm gonna just be playing a little bit with some of my tools on, on these um, with sanding. But first I have to go watch, sorry, let me just, first I have to go watch some ski jumping.
I actually was so upset that I forgot to record most of the gluing in of the magnet, so here's just the highlights and some more sanding. For the finish, I use my standard beeswax and mineral oil mixture that I use for all my food safe projects. So there we have it. Our toaster tongs are complete. Um, I wanted to just do this project because it was super simple um, and also to show you that, you know, what you can do with a bit of scrap. And, you know, it's not the most useful thing, but it's quite handy to not burn your finger, especially if you have those small gluten-free slices like my wife has, you know, trying to flick them out of the toast and never really works. But yeah, so I wanted to just show you different styles. Sadly, the rustic idea that I had totally failed. I just didn't make the top part thick enough. So, bummer. But, you know, so be it. It, it was firewood anyway. So yeah, I also inserted a little magnet in this one. So this is the nut and beach. And I actually quite like the look of this one. I think it, it's quite simple, but quite stylish. Um, and so yeah, I install, installed the magnet so you can just keep it attached to the toaster. These, I don't know, I'll give, use them as presents or use them for something else. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it was super quick and super fun to make. And yeah, please subscribe and like, really, it really helps me. Um, and that's the reason I do this, right? Otherwise I could just work in my garage without recording, which was probably would be easier, but I guess less fun. But yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah, yeah, I'll catch you later. <laughs>